sure like when you press it and it's red, that means we're recording. It's not when it's green. That's so opposite. Mm -mm. Record button's always been red. Oh. Think back to your VCR days. I barely remember my VCR days. DVD days? (laughs) I do remember my (laughs) DVD days, but I, I thought I was so cool. I had like, you know when they had like the CD players, those portable ones? That were like this big, you know, you put the CD mm-hmm. in and you put oh, yeah, the yeah. headphone jack. Yeah, I had one of those and I thought, I thought I was so cool. Because I also had a strap for it too. It, Didn't I had, it like bounce the CD and stuff? I mean, I no. guess not all of them did, but I always felt like you, you, if you were like running or something with one of those. Well, I never, I wasn't very physical, so I didn't run very much. But it was a fedazzled, sparkly... I, could you not? Sparkly pink and white CD player. Barbie edition? No, it wasn't a Barbie thing. It was just like, it was like fedazzled on the handle. <laughs> and then it was like sparkly pink and white. And I had my head and I could like put it, like it had a strap so I could like put it on. And mm-hmm. like I just walk around church and be like, oh my gosh, I'm so cool. I can listen to my music portably. I thought that was so cool. Hearing this just doesn't sound like Jordan. <laughs> it just doesn't sound like her at all. Oh, hey. So also, and we'll get into this, but I also, growing up, I had, Eden and I, we shared a bedroom, pink carpet, all pink walls, pink bed spread. What, what was I? I don't know. You know what? There's a perfect movie coming out for you. <laughs> Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I did like, I, but I did play with Barbies. I played with Polly Pockets, uh, but I also played with like cars. I played with like Legos. Like mm-hmm. I kind of did it all, but I don't know why we just had a thing for pink. Well, the Barbie movie is coming out, I think it sometime is. this summer. And what's funny though, is that the trailer for it actually looks like it could be funny. It doesn't it look as dumb as I be. thought it was going to be. I don't know if it's just my expectations were low. But even trying to be objective, me and my wife both looked at it and were like, that actually seemed like it might be good. It doesn't look cheesy like uh, Cat in the Hat was, where they like created that yeah. whole that whole world. It just and it just didn't it didn't work. Yeah, uh, this I one didn't even actually look at that one. I don't know. You should you should go watch it. I want to see what you think after this. After yeah. Well, I have to drag this. my boyfriend to go see it. He was joking how he wasn't going to see it, and if I come to him, I'm like, hey, guess what? I actually want to see this. Okay, but I was actually trying to get him to go see Little Mermaid with me, not because I think it's going to be a great movie. I was actually going to review it um, for Resident Skeptics. And mm-hmm. he said he would go, but he was only would go for the popcorn. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, but I heard that it was really boring. Yeah, so globally, it's been a box office failure. Right. Uh, domestic, it's doing pretty good, though. Yes, yes. But yeah, it's globally, good. not doing well. Yeah, and I don't, some of it too, I don't know if it's, because I know that, you know, in China, like, there is, there really is racism there. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, we saw what they, we saw what they did with the, uh, what Disney did with the uh, Wakanda, well, any of the Black Panther movie posters, and then with the Star Wars posters, they always, they'll put the, they'll keep the mask on the black characters, they'll put them further in the background, they won't let them be center, like, front and center on the poster. Uh, They do, they do tend to get rid of all of that. Yeah, but of course, those companies like care so much about racism and diversity, equity, and inclusion. But when it's China, no, they have they have to cover it. So much hypocrisy. Mm-hmm. Speaking of hypocrisy, which what I'm going to say has nothing to do with hypocrisy. Trump got indicted again. <laughs> it has nothing to do with hypocrisy at all. But he did get indicted again. He did, yeah. And, and we were talking about it before we started recording. We're like, I don't. How many times have they attempted? We know they've succeeded twice now. Right. Twice this year. Right. I think there's an additional two other attempts that happened previously. I might, I might be off on my account, but I do feel like there's two that didn't go through. They attempted to indict him, and nothing happened uh, that came of it. And then they've had two where they've successfully indicted. It just honestly, it feels like another Tuesday. Yeah, no, I I kind of feel like that's how people are feeling. Like this is ridiculous that we're doing all of this. But I think also to the, it's not just the hypocrisy. I think it's the, well, actually, yeah, you know, this does have to do with hypocrisy. I lied. This does have to do with hypocrisy. <laughs> I'm going to explain why it does. All right. Um, all right. Because the hypocrisy with, we all know that if this was a Democrat that, they wouldn't be trying this hard. We all know that. Come on. We all know it. Joe Biden had documents in his garage, in his Corvette. Mm-hmm. 
And then Hillary Clinton, like, she went through this whole thing to hide these emails in, like, her own private server in her bathroom. And, like, like No, no, it wasn't on. her bathroom. It was, in a, it was in a small, like, server closet oh, in, was like, it? a restaurant or shop. Oh, hey. Yeah. Well, wherever it was, it was a private server. Um, and then you had... Well, you and know, she was using her private phone as well for government communications, which it was not encrypted, and she wasn't supposed to be using it. Right. And her email and all of that's on there, so, you know... It, and they didn't try that hard for Hillary Clinton. So who doesn't try hard here, though, Jordan? I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore because I feel like going after Trump is petty, but I feel like some of the stuff that Hillary's done is pretty bad where I'm like, why, if we're going to go after, if we're going to go after Trump, you have to be fair and go, you should have gone after Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden. I think they are going after Joe Biden, so to speak. They're still investigating him. Mm -hmm. Um, But like, it's not getting near the amount of attention. And of course, since Biden says that he keeps his garage closed, I mean, well, obviously those documents are fine. There's no way to break into a garage when it's closed. There is no possible (laughs) way. Um, So we don't have like a ton, a ton to say about it other than meh. And this is getting stupid. It's basically just, it's it's kicking off his campaign trail. It's basically what it's doing. I, I mean. They want Trump to run so bad. I he's really that. great coverage. And considering the media conglomerates are dying, Fox just took a huge nosedive after getting rid of Tucker, uh, Tucker Carlson. Right. And then CNN got rid of uh, Trevor Noah. Uh, like the no, not, same week. not Trevor Noah. No, 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 no. Um, Don Lemon. Don Lemon. Oh, is it? That, that's yeah, right. That's right. right. Yeah. Don Lemon went. And it's just like. Same week, they both went. as like, whoa. And one of these is more loved than the other. <laughs> uh, Tucker's doing just fine on Twitter. He is. He's uh, going to be just fine. Um, he. It was. It was bound to happen. He was bound to go off on his own, uh, and he needed to. Uh, but with the idea of this being great for his campaign, we're going to just take a very um, quick dive into the candidates that we have mm-hmm. so far, which is crazy to think about because it's 2023. Uh, this is June uh, when we're filming this, uh, mid June. So we're just gonna. I just take gonna a say, look. I really wish that the U.S. would limit how long they could campaign, like a strict six months. That would be nice because I just don't want to hear about it. <laughs> like I just, I don't want to hear about it. I don't. The, the news is just gonna cover this until it's right. over, and then they're gonna keep covering it because somebody's gonna be upset about somebody winning. It, it doesn't matter who wins; somebody's gonna be upset. Sorry, I'm just reading this. Um, is this uh, is the screen ga- grabbing this right now? Yeah, yeah, it's got okay. it's got us in the screen. Oh, really? Yeah, Are we in there? Oh shoot! You're right. Yeah, we're in the bottom corner. He's the master at it. I don't know what's going on. Okay, <laughs> but uh, go down though. Go scroll, scroll, stop, stop mm-hmm. the scroll. Great. Okay, so I just I just want to say it's so funny. Um, so we're gonna go through this, but. Uh, he looks confused. He looks confused, but it's also the first sentence that kills me. Biden, already the oldest U.S. president ever. <laughs> <laughs> I just like hear like this sass, like oldest president ever. Hey, um, we'll have to convince voters he has the stamina for another four, four years, years in the White House. He doesn't even have enough stamina to make it up the stairs. I mean, even uh, even Reuters, or Reuters, however you want to say it, is here saying, look, this is what he's got to convince the American people of, is that he's not going to just drop dead in the middle of four years. Well, I mean, he's basically dead like i don't even know like if his hair is real at this point like i think it's just like i mean hair, know, hair keeps strands growing. of plastic it keeps growing just... after you're dead really no yeah i didn't know i that. had no idea that's crazy <laughs> yeah technically once it exits your scalp that part's already dead so the only live hair is like in your scalp so like as you're dying you can still be growing hair for a little while or as you're dead, you can still grow hair for a little while. That's why it's why in all the movies they pull the skeleton out and it's got hair like longer hair than it should have had. <gasps> you're right. My life. Although they shouldn't be able to pull a skeleton out whole. I, I'm just gonna point that out. It's an annoyance of mine sure, in movies. They should sure. be in pieces. So I think Crumble the last one I saw God. was Pirates of the Caribbean and you know they're they're hung you know, they're they're a skeleton and they're they've been hung by a noose. I'm like, it wouldn't be there to Get there, it's gonna fall apart. Movie magic, movie magic, but also wow. Did moving on, Joe Biden. Of course, he's gonna run again. He is gonna run again. Um, 
Now, they're saying that he does not face a serious threat from the Democratic challengers. Let's look at these. I don't know if I 100% agree. Okay, so we have this person. We literally did not even know who she was until we pulled this up. Um, She is described as a self-help author. This is Marianne Williamson. Not the craziest thing we've seen make it into the office. Listen. (laughs) Reality TV show. (laughs) You're not wrong. After Trump got in, it was fair game. Anybody could get in at that point. Oh, this is the best part. She ran a dem- uh, she ran as a Democrat in the 2020 presidential primary, but dropped out the race before any votes had been casted. Um, she launched her campaign in March, um, and she's obviously challenging Biden. Mm-hmm. Okay, I gotta see the website. Just just click just just click on the website. Oh, on her. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We can go take a look, look at that. Dear, okay, dedicated to the people. Mm-hmm. There were two candidates. They were Bernie's. They were Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump. Okay, only one of them, however, wanted to do something about it. The other mainly sought to harness all the anger for his own political purposes. And here we are. That rage. Wait, hang on. Okay, hang on. This doesn't. The rage that people were feeling then is still felt today. Has the system improved economically in the last two years in some way? Okay, so this is so disjointed. I'm just telling you, like. It's a, it's an just, odd. This is really really disjointed. Um, Oof, no. It's, yeah, we're not. It's too long of a letter. Okay, Don't so ever write me a letter that long. I won't read it. Yeah. So clearly, uh, but I mean, she basically, know how to basically, it. she's saying there were everyone sucks but me. <laughs> Biden, I don't know Trump, who this. Or, I don't know who the second candidate is. She's. I don't. That's what I'm saying. This referring started super to, weird to me. Like like. I'm, I'm not even looking at her at it because I'm a conservative and she's a Democrat. It's like this. I have. I'm doing too much mental work here, and here we are. What do you mean? And here we are. Okay. What does that no, no, mean? No, no, like, no. Okay, I don't no, get no, this. I, got it. Uh, I, I think I've got it. Okay, you should have to work this hard to get it, Cotter. Well, I'm, I'm just. It's odd that she picked the two candidates to be Bernie Sanders and Trump, and not Biden and Trump, because she's not running against Sanders. He's already tipped his hat to Biden. Yeah, again. he's done. He's done. Uh, which, I mean, again, I do feel like, I genuinely feel he was the legitimate Democrat favored candidate by the populace, and he got ousted. It's because he was too radical on the surface. But he got Biden, who was more less... radical than Biden and Hillary. Bert, I mean, I didn't say Hillary. I just said, I just said Biden. Because if you think about well, it. Well, he, because he got, he got shafted by Hillary's team originally. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I think if it, if, if it would have been Bernie versus Trump, I think it would have been a very close race or Bernie would have won that just, first time. I just think that I'm not talking about the first time. Well, wait, did Bernie go? Tell me, this makes me sound stupid. Did he go for the 2021 Bernie? No, he he, okay. t- he tipped his okay. hat to, to Biden. Again. That's right. Yep. No, 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 you're right. I, I think there was talks about it, in, but I mean, it's like basically both election cycles, even though like every Democrat I ever talked right. to is like, I want Bernie, I want Bernie. Yeah. And he never gets picked. Is like, yeah, I don't know. I still, I still think that he came across more radical than Hillary. I'm not saying that Hillary isn't more radical. I'm mm-hmm. just saying that he came across more. I think, I think that's why Biden was the pick the second time because he came across as like this milk toast grandpa, <laughs> um, you know, who goes to the bathroom to change his adult diaper. But no, this doesn't. This this doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd have to yeah. inspect her a little bit more because I hear some of the stuff she's saying, and it, sounds, it does sound like she's not happy with what Biden's done. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't sound like she was going to be happy with what Bernie or Trump did either, so it makes me yeah. interested in, in what she wants to talk about. She's had a long list. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I mean, but if you're running for president, you kind of have to have a list like well, that. the Democrats, anyone who challenges Biden is on the Democrat side is going to have a bigger challenge in my opinion, because oh, yeah. they have to well, look still at stand Bernie their... favorite being shafted twice. So like, what are your chances while they've still got their puppet? Right. Running? Exactly. But you also have to like make a campaign for why you're not dissing the democratic party, but you're also mm-hmm. saying that this Democrat did a bad job. And also the Republicans can't do a better job if they come in. Right. And the Republicans have an easier job where it's like, look at how much crap they missed. It's always easier when they come in, like, look how much crap they've done, but don't worry, we can fix it. Yeah, it's pretty much the message you get every year. And then you got to read between the lines and figure out who's actually going to do something. Yeah. Uh, But amongst our other candidates, 
This is one more notable. Robert Kennedy Jr. Yeah, no, that one that one actually kind of surprised me when it when that one dropped in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that he has a better chance. Um, <laughs> I don't starting line anti vaccine activist. activist. Great, didn't know that. Um, yeah, he is the son of U.S. Senator um, Robert F. Kennedy. He was mm-hmm. assassinated in 1968 during his own presidential bid. Um, Kennedy was previously banned from YouTube and Instagram for spreading misinformation about vaccines and COVID-19 pandemic. Um, His Instagram account was reinstated after he said he was running. So here's where I don't, (laughs) I don't agree with what they said, where I, this is just my opinion. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, where I feel like whoever's puppet mastering Biden, he's going to die. Like, I don't think he's going to make it. Another term. I'm really surprised he's made it this long right. through it. But, I mean, he has gradually gotten worse. You know, Obama came in, he was young, he was fresh, and he left with gray hair. Yeah. And looking really, really worn out. He looks really Bush rare. aged significantly. Mm-hmm. Uh, Clinton did, too. Like, every single one of them got into the office looking pretty good and then came out of it looking like they aged, Maybe you know, 20 job. years. Maybe. Maybe just a little bit stressful. Right. I do think Robert... Um, I do think Robert uh, Kennedy has a chance. I do to take. Oh, yes. There's, there's the got to be nostalgia there uh, yeah. from his dad. And I think there are people who are genuinely upset with Biden that were on the Democratic side, mm-hmm. um, that could potentially move themselves over, um, to Kennedy. And you're right; he does have that nostalgia. Um, you know, I think, I think uh, JFK was thought of very fondly. Um. That doesn't mean that all of his policies were great, but mm-hmm. but go, even go up here. Go up, go up. Uh, no, down, down, nope, down, down. Stop, stop. Okay, see, he's he's holding on to this. I'm a Kennedy Democrat. Yeah, he's holding on to a classic Democrat. Uh, very classic. Um, and just very, again, something that is, to a certain extent, it, it's in the middle. Um, like, he's almost, I don't know much about his policies, but just the marketing of it. He is really, he's giving the nostalgia of a simpler time Mm -hmm. while also not giving the whole, not being so radically, looking radically on the left or radically on the right. I think it's good. I think it's good marketing. Yeah, Um, for sure. I I would need to pay attention to him more and see what his policies are. Yeah, I think there's plenty of things to disagree with him on. Like I'm I sure, I'm sure there that. is, but well, at the same time, his priorities. there's a lot more things with a classic liberal to agree with. Yeah. In today's politics than there was than there is now with the the more radical liberals right uh honest government reconciliation environment revitalization peace and civil liberties yeah i have to take a look into him a little bit more i I don't think i would favor him over any of the uh republican ones which we'll get into but i think he's the best i think he can give biden a run probably the better of the democrat yeah agreed agreed. Uh, we really don't know anything uh about marianne williamson other than she doesn't know how to write a homepage very well, um, which we got to work on that. Marianne, you can call me. Uh, <laughs> let's take a and look of at course, those. Joe Biden has his. <laughs> actually, just, just for the kicks, I want to see what his looks like. Oh, Josen. Give me money. Are you? <laughs> We've already given you so much you money I can't for even, Ukraine. I, we can't give you any more. Uh, I love it. It's like, you know, at least I can get through his page and I don't have to click off of Well, that's, that. the, that's the whole point. That's like a new way. Of- I just hate it. What is what is happening? America is back. Together we can finish the job. <laughs> Please don't finish the job. Please don't finish the job. We're the job is it. so bad. We're we going to finish it. Don't send Kamala after me. Anything but Kamala. See, this is this is my primary reason for if Biden does win, and I've said it on here before, if he does win, like please don't drop dead because then we get her. Oh, I know, I know. I'm just praying he. I'm just praying. Has to make it, but also uh, McCarthy would become the VP. This scenario is a little bit different. Not familiar with McCarthy. Really? I don't think Leader so. Leader of the. Why would they become vice president? You talking about if Kamala became president? Yeah, because the Speaker of the House. Okay, Speaker yes. of the House. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but like, what's, what does the VP do? <laughs> Cackle. This one does. This right. one cackles and doesn't visit the border. That's what she does. Republicans, let's look. Of course, we're going to have Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. I, just, I want to get the first impression of their websites. Oh, gosh. Ooh, oh, classic gosh. Republican text. 
but he, the loyalty with this him. This is an HTML. I mean, it's one page. It's short and brief, but. The loyalty is so strong, though. Like, he doesn't need anything that great. That's the thing. He doesn't, because he already has a track record. So I just, I can't believe this is it. There's there's nothing else to this page. That's it. I, I've I've got nothing else, unless they've got, no, volunteers, MAGA gear. Yeah, that's it. Tax returns? Is that what that is? No, I don't know. <laughs> it almost looks like it. <laughs> oh. It's tax terms, not tax terms. Well, what are what are they saying though? The um, what this the website? Part? No, the website that we're looking at. Uh, we are watching a republic. No, I'm talking about the eyes. routers site, but we can also read that too, I guess. But the route. Oh, you talking about what? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Trump announced his election campaign last November as he faced some of the loudest criti- criticism yet from within his Republican Party over his support for far right candidates who were defeated in the 2022 midterm elections. Like Biden, he (laughs) remains unpopular with great swaths of the electorate, but he has retained a firm grip on his base and strengthened his standing in polls after he was indicted by New York prosecutors in connection with an alleged hush money payment to a porn star. Trump is the front runner in the Republican race. All right. I I don't know who the far right candidates are that they're talking about. Talking about, you're looking more at like... um, like Carrie Lake, I think is a, a good example of what they would consider to be far right. Um, okay. Yeah, that's Maybe, what I yeah. would. Yeah, that's what I would say uh, to that. Yeah, so that, that's Trump. You had him for four years. Yeah. Kind of know what to expect. I mean, honestly, he needs to just get in and just fire a ton of people. Is oh yeah. Realistically, oh, what he yeah. that's what he should have done, and he didn't. Right. I mean, he kind of did, but then he hired more scumbags who stabbed him in the back. Uh, but yeah, he should he should clean house. Yeah, and I I gave, when I did the solo podcast, I gave some of my thoughts on Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump. Um, Speaking of which. Yes. um, (laughs) I don't don't know if uh, Trump is going to, I still think he has the best chance, honestly. I don't want him to, but he does. Um, Yeah, I think think without a doubt he does. And DeSantis is off to a rough start. Yeah. With his campaign, with a pretty abysmal uh, Twitter announcement, I know that it, they had some technical difficulties and things didn't go quite right. But then, even hearing his like "I'm running" speech was super deflating. Just nothing. Yeah, he no energy at all. He lacked that pizzazz. Yeah. Um, that, and I think there's. I think Ron DeSantis can still turn himself around. I still think that there's time for that. Um, but he's he's got to do what he does at his press conferences, um, which. I don't think he delivered that same energy. And I think it's because he's used to responding to the opposition as opposed to just talking. Talking. Yeah. Um, He's made some other blunders though, pretty quickly. Uh, One of the big ones I wanted to pull an article up for, and it's, it, it, there's two different ones here. So Trump junior and Trump's campaign team did a, uh, did a video and they basically used a, uh, what am I thinking of? a deep fake and AI to put Ron DeSantis into a scene from the office. Um, you know, it's humorous. It's clear. We know Ron DeSantis isn't in there. So I have a less of a problem with this. I think it's kind of funny. Um, I don't, I haven't watched to see which clip it is. Um, minute and 30 seconds. Do we, would we like to watch it? I think we can watch it. That's fine. All right. Let's make sure I get volume here. Of course now it doesn't want to play. Are you wearing lady clothes? What? Are you wearing lady clothes? Those look like lady pants. (laughs) No. This is a power suit. That there's a woman's suit. I do not (laughs) buy women's clothes. Do not make that mistake again. I'm going to call Roy, man. Okay. This is going to make me feel better. (laughs) How's the voice sound to you? You know what? Pretty good. (laughs) Pam, would you please tell Daryl that this is not a woman's suit? Oh my God, that's a woman's suit. You're wearing a woman's suit? <laughs> no, I do. I even I wear men's suits. Okay, I got this out of a bin. There were these huge bins of clothes, and everybody was rightfully through them like crazy, and I grabbed one. You see the and it fit. So I don't Such think a stupid that this is totally just a woman's suit. It's gonna suit. stick though. At the very you know least, it it's is. bisexual. Who makes it? Um, mysterious. It's European, okay? It's a European cut. The pants don't have any pockets. No, they don't. See? <laughs> Italians don't wear pockets. 
Hey, maybe you want to come over and read my closet. No, I don't want to do that because I'm twice your size anyway. Yeah, he looks uh, like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> um, let's just do this in 15. <laughs> okay, okay, can you stay right there for one second? I gotta send some emails. Negotiations are all about controlling things, about being in the driver's seat and make one tiny mistake, you're dead. I made one tiny mistake. I wore woman's clothes. Please clap. You- All right, that is the video they put out. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously fake. Whether you think it's funny or not, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's funny enough, I guess, but... Yeah, so they're, yeah, they're throwing whatever. some shade there. It is, I mean, guys, this is going to be the first election cycle where we start to get these type of advertisements that are now I just deep wish, faked I just AI wish generated both voices sides would be classier but move yeah, on Yeah well it, it got worse because then DeSantis team faked a bunch of Trump kissing Fauci stuff and of these uh the Verge was able to verify that only two of them I'm thinking it's this one and this one are real maybe this one up in the middle but yeah, these I ones are all one, I have seen that one These before. are all generated right here uh, yeah, they look kind of fake too. Oh yeah, honest. they look super fake. You get into you get into some of this, and you can just tell like things are not lining up. Well, and the the way the pixelation is is mm-hmm. really off. Um, they, it, it smoothed over his his hair and stuff. So I mean, I, I this one I have an issue with because it's a clear just. It's it's clearly misguided, and also when even if it's obvious that the image is fake, if we spend enough time on it. If you put it up for like a quick bit, you're not going to have enough time to analyze that image, and yeah. your eye won't catch on fast enough. And it's gonna get it's gonna get released. And you know, people are just gonna read the headlines and look at the title picture and be like, "Oh my gosh!" Right. Trump right. and Fauci. I mean, it's not like it's not like they were enemies. I mean, Trump and Fauci were working together in the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, they did, and you know, Trump still stands by the vaccine and what he did. Um, yeah, which I don't know why he's doing that. I don't I know think either. It's a bad choice. But uh, maybe he's trying to reel in other people that are pro-vaccine. I don't know what it is. Uh, but well, I think he's just. This he is, can't admit that he's wrong. That's. I think that's. It's really just that simple. I don't think he can admit that he's wrong about this. No, I, I mean his his ego is too big for that. He, right. he won't do it. But yeah. my issue with this one versus the office one is this is. This is like this is sabotage for for Trump. Because it's like it's clear that the Republican base doesn't like Fauci. They did not like the things he did f- through COVID, and this is trying. What they've released is trying to show something that didn't exist. Yeah. And so, guys, welcome to the first election cycle where you can't trust pictures and video anymore. Yeah. I mean, I brought this up before about the deep fakes and the AI and what was going to be yeah, happening. With we should do, definitely do an episode on that. I think that would be really fun. Here's the beginning good. of it. You know, we yeah. have one in jest and one that's more sabotage, but yeah, equally both are dangerous. So I think this right. is a big hiccup for anybody that's serious about this stuff. Yeah. Uh, I for think DeSantis. DeSantis needs, whether he allowed this to happen, he needs to tighten up yeah. uh, his campaign. Fire whoever did that. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> and it's even worse point. if they just like went in and Googled for pictures and maybe these images are floating out on the internet mm-hmm. and they thought they were real and then they put them together and it, then you should definitely, I mean, right. you're, you should yeah. be, if you're fired, no matter what, you just right. bad yeah. job there. Agreed. All right. So we have DeSantis. Uh, Tim Scott. Tim Scott. Yeah. He's not going to make it. Uh, Don't think so. No, oh, no, he's not going to make What's it. What's your thoughts? Um, I just think that, again, you have to measure up to Trump and Trump has a, you can hate him for a lot of reasons, but he, he really does have a voice. He's yeah, got, he's got a voice and a presence. Yeah. <clears throat> and Tim Scott, he's trying to go up against both DeSantis and Trump. Cause remember both Trump and DeSantis have a lot of accomplishment under their belt. That's notable yeah. by the media. Um, I, I hate splash pages. Yeah, he took a hint from Biden's website. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so Tim Scott just doesn't have that. Mm-hmm. Um, he, I mean, I'm sure he does have accomplishments that, that matter. Um, but nothing that the public is really going to pay a tremendous amount of attention to. That's just my opinion. I just don't think he has the power for it. Yeah, and I don't. I mean, we've got his story, Faith in America, Volunteer, his record, Biden's Blueprint. Like, yeah. So what? Yeah. I, uh, I'd i like to know what his positions are on things, and I don't uh, I don't see that. 
Yeah. Maybe you can find more about it in his record. All right. I guess he's going to talk about border security, education, conservative values, God-given rights, national mm-hmm. security, law and order. So, I mean, he's, he's got some in here, so I guess that, that's the best place to go for it. But, no, I, I agree. He's got two really big personalities he's going up against. I would like to point out that Reuters is saying he's the only black Republican U.S. senator. <clears throat> uh, wait, what? Really? The only black Republican U.S. senator has low name recognition outside his home state of South Carolina. I don't agree with that. I think he is known. Um, I, I think he's relatively known. Yeah. Uh, like Nikki Haley's known, not Nikki. for good reasons. Um, I, I don't think she'll make it very far. Nope, she's not going to make it. She's not. Next. Vivek Ramaswamy. I really wish he would make it. Farther, I wish too. I, I don't think he will. He it, it's it's mo- it's a long shot and a hopeful. Um, I think he's interesting. I think people should listen to what he has to say and his ideas. Uh, he is a businessman. He's not a politician. Uh, I've listened to him. I like his ideas. Um, I overall uh, again the personality to deal with Trump and DeSantis is not there. Honestly, and I are disagree. So on them. You I don't disagree. think so? I mean, he does. He, he does has, have a strong presence. His presence is great. Um. His accomplishments, unfortunately, well, he doesn't have any. That's in, and that's the politics. problem. That's I but think neither that's did Trump when he came in. But I mean, Trump climate, is just though, just boisterous. Yeah, well, well, Trump brought in that type of personality and allowed people like that to make it into the race. Mm-hmm. So I think Vivek has a chance down the road. I could see maybe in 10, 15 years. I don't think it will for this race, though. Yeah, and honestly, the rest of the candidates are about the same. We've got Mike Pence. There's not much to talk he about there. So Former so milk toast. Won't make it. Chris, Chris Christie. Christie trying again. No. Just stop. Just stop. Give we, up. We want you to give up. Doug Burgum. I don't even know who he is. North Dakota governor. I don't even pay attention to North Dakota. I should, maybe I should. That's that's the main candidates. There's there's others, uh, but like Politico lists some others here that you could look at. But honestly, what's the point? That's the correct. That's the correct term there for them. They're the long shots. Yeah. Uh, unlikely. I don't agree. To Nikki ha- Haley is a contender. No, she is not a contender. No. Mike Pence is also okay. There really, there really should only be two categories: the favorites and the long shots. There should be no <laughs> middle category. It doesn't actually work. No, I agree. I, I don't think it's yeah. uh, long shots for sure. And these ones may be slightly less than a long shot. No, he yeah, he has to go up against Trump. In a I mean, looking at the polls, I, I think in the polls, these three are all below five percent. Yeah, yeah. Like no, they listen, just, there's they they don't have anything, and yeah. these guys all have like under three percent. Right. Yeah. Maybe two percent. Yeah. Just, it's not there. It's not. It's not. Um, I would really like to. On an off note, I would like to see Tulsi Gabbard get back in there somehow. I don't know if it's as a oh VP. man, if she jumped in, I, I'd probably I'd probably vote for her. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Um, but as a VP, I mean, you talk about a good woman VP. I'd take her. Definitely. I would have her. Um, I'm trying to think of some good women. I used to think Nikki Haley would be a good VP, and I'm not as convinced anymore. Fair enough. Um, I'm trying to think of a I'm trying to think of a woman that I like. There's not many. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. There's not many. Um, even there was a there's Lo- Lauren uh, Bobert Bobert. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is insane. Now she's divorced and I be- well she's getting a divorce and then she's going to be a grandmother because her 17 year old got someone pregnant family val- values though I don't know I don't know I didn't I didn't particularly like her because I didn't feel like she actually knew what she was talking about when she was because we went to the salt and light conference last year mm-hmm. and she was on the stage and being like like oh you know the the all the founding fathers the reason why they fought for what they did is because they were all christians who were saved by the blood of christ big cheers and i'm like Inaccurate. no it's not true like don't don't say something that's not true like mm-hmm. they believed in judeo christian values but they weren't all christians that were hallelujah saved you know no. um i was actually listening to it biography on George Washington. I think he was trying to be a little bit, but mm. um, anyway. Yeah, it's a far leap. Yeah, so I can't even Marjorie Taylor Greene. No. Um, <laughs> I can't. I can't even. There's not even like a political commentator. Like, There's not even any main candidates that I like really, really, really want. I like Vivek. 
Oh I yeah, like I like Vivek. I like Vivek for as sure. well. But as far as I mean, outside of that, I guess if I could just grab somebody and put somebody in, yeah, maybe I would just I would grab Vivek and put him in. I yeah, if I had a choice, I would put in some fresh blood. <laughs> like, and he's in his Vivek late and 30s. Tulsi. <laughs> that would be an interesting combo. I don't think they'd work together because Vivek Probably is too not. strong with his yeah, views. He's very yeah. strong on his conservative views. And I don't think T- Tulsi Gabbard, as much as I like her, she is still has a lot of classical liberalism to mm. her, um, which isn't quite conservative. Um, no, but it would be better than what Biden's been putting out. No, and get I us agree. closer towards agreement than anything else. If you gave me a choice between Tulsi Gabbard and Biden... Tulsi Gabbard. All you give me a choice between Hillary Clinton, Tulsi Gabbard, Tulsi Gabbard. You know, like easy pick. Mm-hmm. Um, but if there's, if you give me a choice between Tulsi Gabbard and Vivek, I'd take Vivek. Um, easy. But um, y'all will have to tell us what you guys think um, about the candidates. Who do you think is going to make it? Who do you think's not? Who do you think would be a good Democratic candidate to go against? Um, let us know in the comments on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all the places. And speaking of Facebook and speaking of this great month of June, um, as you can see here, a couple of things. One, it is Pride Month. We did do our Pride Month episode. We're going to do another one later at the end of the month to talk about the wins that conservatives are going to have. But instead of shopping at Target, go to Public Square and you get you... Something cool. I did get my bathing suit from there recently. Good quality, good stuff. I don't know if it's all good stuff, but I feel like most of it will be probably be fine. Yeah, I mean, well, but we just have to believe in the stores that are getting on there. Right. Uh, That's the thing. You can look at the stores, too, and, like, see if you like their products or not. Mm-hmm. And if they're Just good. like anywhere else. Pretty much, yeah. Like, on Amazon, like, there's some good products. There's some bad products. But the one thing that all of these products have in common is that they are made by people um, who care about our country and want their... Uh, to be a free market. So go check them out. Um, Another thing that we're doing um, for Pride Month to somewhat counteract this strange month um, of celebrating people's sexualities, uh, we are doing a drive for the police department that is here where we're at. Uh, It's in Cabarrus County. Uh, Basically what we're doing is we are, we've made a list of things that officers like to have um, in their cars to actually give to people. Um, So I think sometimes it can be snacks, uh, blankets, um, like little like plushy toys um, for Mm -hmm. kids. And so that's a great way to give back to the community. Uh, It's a great way also for officers to have a positive interaction uh, with the people that they're trying to serve and they're trying to protect. They're not actually trying to go out and and just shoot up people for no reason. I know, it's crazy. Uh, They actually care. So um, we've been promoting this on Instagram and Facebook, uh, but we're going to promote it here. We're going to have it linked in our description um, on YouTube, and we'll just keep promoting that throughout this month. Uh, Mm -hmm. We hope that you will donate. It will not cost you an arm and a leg. Some of the items that are like from six to $10. Um, So I know if you can buy a Starbucks, you can donate and you can feel good about it too. So we'll make sure we have that linked. Yep. I have, we'll get that up there. Yep. Sounds good. All right. That's all we have for today. Um, My voice got a bit louder. I don't know. You can tell us if you want us to cover something (laughs) as well. That's fine. Yeah. Let us know in the comments, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. You they can find can't us leave comments on Spotify, can they? Uh, no, I guess they can't leave comments there unless we open up something for Q&A. But it, I mean, shoot us an email, Instagram, YouTube, email, Facebook. All right. That is it. 